Hello everyone, welcome back to A Better Biomed. Today I'd like to go over a pro tip on finding broken wires. So I recently had a problem with a foot control very similar to this one. It was dysfunctional. You plug it in, the machine wouldn't recognize that it was there. You depress the foot control and there was no output. I brought it back to my lab, I dissected the connector and also the foot control and I tested for continuity between the two. Every wire had continuity except for the green wire. Where was the green wire broke? It could be broke at the connector, or it could be broke at the foot control strain relief, which is where 90% of the brakes are, but that's a gamble. Because normally a repair for a wire break like this is you find the brake, you clip the wire, and you re-terminate the wires back to the connector or to the foot control, straight to the PCB. But what if the wire is broke someplace down the line, further down? You can't make the wire too short because then it's impractical. It needs to be probably 10 to 15 feet long so the surgeon can access the foot control to the equipment which is going to be on the other side of the sterile field. So this also goes for hand pendants. So even though I'm talking about a foot control, it's not just for foot controls. You can do it for anything. And the tool I use for tracing down broken wires is going to be this network tracer. I got this network tracing kit off Amazon. I think it was 10 to $14. What you do is you take the wire with an RJ11, you plug it into your tracer. I'm gonna set the tracer on scan. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the red lead to one of the wires. Now I'm going to turn on my detector pen that's got a detecting tip and you press the scan button. The normal tone that you should hear is an oscillating tone and that shows you that you have continuity. Take your detecting pen and you start at the connector and you go all the way down the wire. all the way back to the foot control. And if that wire has continuity and you can hear the oscillating tone all the way, then you switch to another pin. All the way up. So in my situation, on the green wire that was broke, I connected the red lead to the pin that was connected to the green wire, and I took the pen and I followed it all the way back. When you lose the tone, that's when you have a broken wire. In my case, the brake was about two feet down from the connector. My only other option was to record. It's not really a feasible option because you have to use the same quality of cabling and it has to have the same number of conductors internal. Unfortunately, that foot control, I had to throw it out. But using this method of the detector pen, I've been able to save many hand pendants and many foot controls. Let's see, I think I have a hand pendant right here. It's a hand pendant here. It also had a break, but this one had a break up here at the connector. Using the same method, I used a little lead that I put on the pin. And the lead that I used was actually a, uh, it was an IV needle. Needles, you got to be careful with them because obviously you can stab yourself. All my needles are sterile at the time that I received them. So I open a sterile needle and then I will keep it capped in my drawer here full of uh, uh, jumpers and stuff like that. It's a garbage drawer really, but I use it for troubleshooting and I have various uh, sizes of needles. Because these pins are kind of small, I shove the needle over one of the pins and I'll clip one of my jumper wires to it. Then I can use my cable tracer and I found that the brake was right here at the connector. So that's just a quick tip. Pro tip for you guys, use a cable tracer. Almost every shop I've been to has one of these and if not, they should have one. Usually these cable tracers are used by network engineers to trace a wire from the port to the comm closet, but I use them for finding breaks. It's just the same. It sends an oscillating tone down the wire. When the oscillating tone stops, that's when you found your break. All right guys, thanks for watching this pro tip. 
Stay tuned. I'm going to have plenty more videos for you guys soon enough. Thanks.